If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you may recall when I bought this truck two years ago. Yeah, this was the 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited that I bought. And this is me in Houston when I picked it up and brought it home. And I thought it was interesting, last night I did a video on the next vehicle for the channel, which is the long-term review, long-term for me, the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. So if you recall, I had a 1450 Power Boost, I bought this 2022 Tundra, and I bought a 2023 Chevy Silverado High Country. So now, time for another truck. And the Tacoma is the newest truck in the marketplace. It's got all the new features and things, and you guys seem like you like it from counting on the views. So it is the next truck I'm going to buy. But what's interesting, last night when I priced out the Tacoma, there's a question, especially from our fan, Gene, who said, hey, what's the price difference between this Tundra and the Tacoma? And I had to think about on live stream a little bit. And live, you know, you're always like stressed because you're trying to think of things off, you know, the top of your head. But then today I walked in my office and I figured out, you know what, I saw the sales sticker when I bought that Tundra. And so I thought it'd be interesting to kind of go through what I paid for this Tundra back in 2022. Uh, let's see, 2022 model year, so 2021, so just a couple years ago, versus the next generation Tacoma I'm buying. And then we'll discuss which truck is a better fit value, some de details in this midsize versus full size. So let's go ahead and hop on over to Toyota.com. All right, and the Toyota, Toyota Thon's going on, by the way. Uh, yeah, big savings, a thousand bucks. Um, let's go to vehicles. We go to trucks and we'll go to the 2024 Tundra. Now, I can't build in price based on 2022 because that's already passed. But I can tell you my 2022 model uh, didn't have many options. It actually, uh, well, excuse me, did have quite a few options. Uh, JBL 12 speaker premium audio system, limited premium package, limited power package, the TRD off road package, the power tilt panoramic sunroof, and the heated steering wheel. Total price was $59,000. 525. So what is it in today's everything is more expensive world that we're living in? Let's go ahead and go into this build and price tool. And we have the limited. So 51855 uh, in now that may be the two wheel drive. Let's see what it looks like. We go through because right, because mine says 51,900. So it says the 2024 is cheaper than the 2022, which is interesting. So double cab, six and a half foot better, five and a half foot bed or get yeah, different options. I had a crew max with a five and a half foot bed. Oh, that's double cap. So let's see what the price looks like now. Survey says, loading, 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 55,750. So just the base price of the Tundra, where is my calculator? Um, Cause I'm not good at math top of my head. 51,900 is what the starting price was in 2022 model year, which is the first came out since the 2021 you know, figure out your years there. Minus 55, 755. That means it's gone up $3,855, almost four grand in two years. And there's really nothing different. So powertrain, I had the four wheel drive version. Ooh, this is going to be more expensive. Let's click that. Boom. Uh, we have a price of 58, 755. So 58,755 minus the 51,900. So now I'm $6,800 more, almost $7,000 more. Haven't added the packages yet. So let's go ahead. So colors, I had the blue, which I really was a big fan of blue. I had the soft text boulder interior. Yep. Really nice looking interior. If you haven't seen this yet, it's um, just that soft text. The seats are nice and comfortable. And that color was really nice too. I didn't see a whole lot of dust build up on it. Didn't see a whole lot of marks either. So it hit stuff pretty well. Okay. So let's go to packages. Now I'm going to scroll over. They have 28 packages, which is just ridiculous because I basically had everything. So we'll scroll all the way over. Okay, so I didn't have a three-inch lift. The uh, TRD off-road package with option C. 12-speaker JBL system. Yep, and the JBL system is much better than the prior generation, by the way. The blind spot monitoring. Yep, TRD off-road package with the 20-inch alloy wheels. Yep, I had all of that. I had the power tilt and slide panorama roof. The TRD front skid plate. Yep. The uh, heated leather wrap steering wheel. Yep. So I had all those features. So I'll add that. And then let's go to, I didn't have any accessories. No, let's go to summary. So now $64,250. So $64,250 minus $59,525. So it's $4,725 difference. So 
basically what they did here was the options in yeah the options in back then was 585 plus 395 plus 385 plus 385 1350 and then 150 so 5950 were the options back then and we have 5495 which is interesting so the base price is up quite a bit and mine went from base price to I miss oh de dealer refee was 16.95 no 50 yeah interesting so mine was 59 525 everything and i'm going to add this up one more time cuz this is the math math is turning out right yep okay well the math works out sorry uh, it was interesting that it went up so much and then it didn't go up so much as the final price i don't know it's weird so we have 64250 minus 59525 so 4725 so basically i'm going to write this down 64250 is today's price and that was up 47 25 over the prior price. Okay, so let's go over to the Toyota Tacoma. And I'm going to do the building price. I'm going to do a quick one. Last night I did a whole live stream on this. And uh, sorry if you don't like this format. Somebody didn't like this format. I thought it was kind of strange uh, with putting the image on the screen and me talking about it. It's been a big hit on the channel. Sorry if you don't like it. Uh, so that one starts at TRD off road, which is what I wanted, which 41,000. Double cap, five foot bed. I just think that's more of the volume seller. And I think it's gonna, I'm going to be able to get faster because. It's the volume kind of cab configuration. I'm going to go with four-wheel drive, automatic transmission. My left knee thanks me. Um, I'm going to go blue again. <laughs> I'm just sucker for blue. Uh, let's see. I have the blue. And then the biggest deal is a 44 395, but I'm getting a fully loaded version of it as well. So the limited I had was fully loaded. This one I have is going to be fully loaded as well. And if you do the premium package with options, which is just everything, I mean, all everything that you'd want, and you have to do... The black interior is the only way you can do this. And when you go to summary, it is 5445. 5445. So the price delta difference is about ten thousand dollars for a TRD off-road fully limited versus a limited tundra. Now you may be wondering, well, Tim, do a limited tundra, limited Tacoma, limited Tacoma, and then uh, see what the difference is. So 10 grand between TRD or not TRD, 10 grand between Tacoma off-road. I don't want to say TRD off-road. Between a Tacoma off road and the 2022 or the 2024 Tundra Limited with the TRD off road package. That's a mouthful. So let's go to Limited and I'll select this and then we'll go. I think that it has less options here. And remember, this is all gas. The hybrid version of the Tacoma doesn't come out next spring and business reasons. I can't wait. I'm not going to, I just, there's no way I can wait. Uh, I have the four, it only comes in four wheel drive and limited. So that's the only option you have. Colors, we have blue. I'll stick with that. Packages, I can add mud guards. Let's say I add mud, mud guards. <laughs> I can't believe that's the only package. So the summary on the limited is going to be 53655 So limited is actually cheaper than the Tacoma off road version I have. And so the price difference is about $10,000. So if you're looking, saying, well, why don't I just buy a, a Tundra? For the price difference with the Tacoma, I mean, it, yes, starting price seems like it's really closer. But when you start adding packages and things, you'll see a pretty good size delta there, $10,000. Now, $10,000 may not mean a lot to you. You may want the bigger truck. You might, may not have an issue parking the garage. I don't know what your situation is. Um, I will tell you that the towing on the Tacoma is about 6,500 pounds. The towing on the Tundra was about 11,000 pounds. Again, top of my head a little bit. Um, but the towing experience is dramatically different. It doesn't really... A lot of people uh, go online and they spec out towing, they spec out campers, but you have to also understand that it's about wheelbase, about length. It's when the wind hits you. What do you do when the wind hits you? Because the wind is going to move that camper. And if you have a wider truck and a longer truck, you have more wheelbase and you'll be more steady on the road when that wind hits you. There's another reason why with one ton trucks, lots of dualies, additional tire in the back, keeps you from hitting that wind. Semi goes by, creates that draft of wind. You'll see that happen quite a bit when you're off rear towing. So it's not always about the specs. Payload's about the same. People always get this thoughts of saying, bigger truck, more payload. No, not really, because it comes down to how heavy the truck is. So curb weight minus your gross uh, vehicle weight rating it typically, typically works out to what payload is. If you take that math, how heavy it, it weighs and how much it can carry, you take that math, separate it out. That's kind of what you have payload. It doesn't quite work out all the time, but that's a pretty good way to look at it. 
And so, and the other thing you have with the Tundra is you have basically a truck that's one and a half times bigger than the Tacoma. Tacoma, as far and as far as that's really important in rear seat legroom, rear seat legroom in the Tacoma is quite small. The bed is even smaller, but it does fit in more garages. Now, there's always gonna be one guy saying, I have a 24 foot garage or I have 24, whatever. If you look at, if you Google the average US size of garages, they're all about 18 foot. That's average. Again, outliers. So Tacoma, smaller, more nimble to park or more nimble, easier to park, fits in the garages, a little bit smaller inside the cab, a little bit smaller bed. You can probably reach in the bed a lot easier than you can the, the Tundra. Now the Tundra, taller, more room for passengers. It doesn't always fit in garages, depending. Again, law of averages, but you do get more towing and you just get more bed volume. Not so much weight you can carry in the bed, but a bigger bed volume. 10 grand difference. What are you guys thinking? Is 10 grand a big deal for you? Would you rather buy the Tundra or the Tacoma based on 10 grand? Apples to apples as far as the total uh, vehicle, as far as the off-road capability and all the features and things. Or is Tacoma still a little bit cheaper? Fuel economy is a little bit better. Uh, the, the fuel economy in the Tundra was about 19. This one should be a bit, couple miles per gallon better and the Tacoma. All right, there you go. I'll be looking for those comments down below. Make sure you check out the videos over here. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. Have more thoughts over there. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.